Well, we really have a situation because there was a viewer who called and uh, exposed a problem that he was having. So basically, he said, my cargo van expediting business plan is done, but I can't find loads. I tried every option. Help. So in today's conversation, we want to really give answers to that viewer and really uh, familiarize our all our viewers with all the options that are out there. If you have a cargo van expediting business, how you can actually... Uh, you know, do everything to get loads, okay, and, and make money in the process. Find profitable loads. That's very important. So I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation so you can learn more about the unique ways you can monetize your cargo van expediting business. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we have a situation, as I said before. So a viewer said that he said, my cargo van expediting business plan is done, but I cannot find loads. I tried every option. Help. So we are here to help, okay? So what's really going on here? So we are speaking about a viewer called Joshua L. So Joshua, I know you are watching. We are not revealing your last name. We promise that we will talk about your issue and hopefully you are watching, but please also read the comments because we really wanna have collective wisdom on this show. So we are asking every viewer who, have, who has experience or has something to say about the subject to actually pitch in, very important. So we are speaking about Joshua L. He is 42, he's a cargo van driver, and uh, he's doing uh, a cargo van expediting business for the last six months. So he wants to haul in uh, LA, okay? And he owns a 2018 Ford Transit. And uh, you know, Joshua is open to all loads, so he's really, he's not really picky. So here is a man who really wants to succeed, so he's open to all kinds of loads. And as long as we are, we're not speaking about OTR out of state. So he wants to sit within California and do the work there, okay? And right now he has no dispatchers. In other words, he's now working with someone and he's on his own. So the whole thing here is that his cargo van expedited business plan is done. So the, pl the, the plan is done, it's, it's all uh, round up, it's all rounded up, and he just wants to get some work done, okay? And right now he said, Joshua said that insurance is killing me. And Josh, Joshua, you are right. I mean, insurance can be a killer, especially uh, if you just started if you just start a business and no money is coming in, but you are paying every month the insurance. And every the Lord knows, insurance for a cargo van is not something cheap, especially in California. And if you are in LA, hmm, okay. And right now, he also says that no load board registration yet. So, Joshua, you are not on any load board, okay. Maybe this could be a situation that you want to remedy. You want to be on, on load boards. I mean, there are free load boards and there are paid load boards. I will speak about load boards later on to sort of help you sort of lay out a strong foundation for your strategy in, in when it comes to finding profitable loads, okay? So, dear viewers, here is a situation, okay? Joshua L, 42, he's a hardworking man and he's just trying to get profitable loads. He started his business six months ago, so we are trying, we will help him. In this show, we will help him find solutions to kickstart his uh, cargo van expediting business. First thing first, first things first. Joshua, let me ask you a question. Okay, you've talked about a lot of things. You exposed your problem. Actually, you sent us an email, a long email, and uh, we just summarized your issue here. But my question to you is, you said, my cargo van business plan is done. What do you really mean? Boss, talk to me about that. Son, I want to hear you. What do you mean? Actually, I'm asking questions, and those questions are not rhetorical. In other words, I want you to answer me, and you can answer me in the comment section, or you can answer, you can answer us via email. Okay, that's not a problem. Without obviously divulging your identity okay so when you talk about my cargo van business plan is done what do you mean exactly how done is your business plan because you know what a well done business plan should have given you the answer to your question how to find loads 
That's very important because you is I want to find profitable loads, not just all any kind of load. I want to find profitable loads. Okay, if you had had a compelling business plan, you should have had the answer in that business plan already, which you don't have, which means that your business plan maybe is not really uh, well well captivating. Okay. Another question: Is your business legit, son? Talk to me. Is your business legit? Because the whole thing here is that you say, well, I've been, I've been in existence for six months. Okay, I get that. But the question is, when we talk about business legit, we're not just speaking about registering your, uh, your cargo van, expedited business, and, and that's it. Are you an LLC? Are you an LP? Are you an S Corp? Are you a C Corp? You didn't mention that. But those are really important things because uh, depending on uh, the uh, the legal structure you have, there are there are regulatory uh, regulatory I would say uh, guidelines you need to follow. For example, if you're an LLC, you need to have articles of incorporation. Okay, you need to have a certificate of a uh, you need to have uh, licenses and permits. Okay, you need to have uh, a, a registered agent service. Okay, you need to have a certificate of, of good standing. Those are important things. I'm not even talking about getting an EIN, getting a federal uh, DOT number. Okay, do you have a uh, do you have an, an MC number? Do you have authority? I mean, you're not you're not a, a truck, but hey, listen, you're not a trucking business. But what I'm trying to say here is that there are there is a constellation of uh, of regulations you need to ha you need to have. So when you talk about my business is business plan is done, is your business legit? Okay, you need to have some information to create your uh, cargo van expedited business plan. Because once you, once you, once you, uh, depending on the state you're in, you're in California, okay, depending on the, the kind of uh, load you want to haul, there are extra reg regulations. For example, if you are hauling, if you want to haul, let's say, sensitive, sensitive loads, there are all kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, regulations, okay? So, and you need to learn, to, you need to learn how to manage cost and project revenue. So what I'm talking about here, the, the big, the bigger thing is you need to understand when you said my business plan is done, do you mean you understand your own business plan? You understand your own business in and out so you can actually start making money. You can start finding profitable loads, uh, pro profitable loads. That's what I'm really uh, thinking about. And Joshua, be careful. Be really careful here. Don't tell me, see, because the thing here is that you have said my cargo van expedited business plan is done. Okay, but we've seen this in, in the last 30 years, you know, cargo van people in the freight and logistics business. They talk about, well, you know, my business plan is done. My cargo van expedited, expedited business plan is done. Okay, but what kind of what kind of business plan do you have? Don't tell me you have downloaded a cheap pass template from the Internet to do your business plan. Joshua, talk to me. You're in LA. LA is a very competitive market. Okay, who did it for you? Did you write? Did you write your own business plan? Talk to me, son. Okay, because you are a hardworking man. I understand that you are a really hardworking man, but you need to have the right tools to succeed. So your business plan is done. Okay, who did it? You wrote it. Do you, did you hire a professional business plan writer? Did you use business plan software such as Inloop, Life Plan, or Smart Plan? Have you used a freelancer from Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork, or any similar site? Talk to me about that because those are really important things because there is specific information you need to put into a cargo van expedited business plan. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really sure you have done that because when you reached out to us, you did not attach the business plan you were saying this is, is done. And, and, and the thing is, I'm, you know, I could be wrong here and I'm only speculating, but I, I have a feeling that you don't have a real business plan. You probably have like a, a half done business plan. And, you know, we've seen this a lot. As I said before, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of um, a, a lot of people in this industry, they just uh, have a cheap ass download from the Internet. They just download a cheap ass template from the Internet to do their business plan. And when you look at the, the final results, <laughs> very funny. It's, it's just crazy. So. To, you need to include specific things in a cargo van expedited business plan, industry knowledge, general knowledge. And to write a cargo van expedited business plan, there are a lot of things you need to put. You know, you need to put the uh, you need to put a, a constellation of, uh, of pieces. For example, executive summary, company description, operational plan, services, market analysis. Son, have you put those management and personnel, sales and marketing strategies, financial projections funding requests, 
a lot of things and you didn't even say if you were a single member LLC a single member a single member L a company or a multi-member LLC S Corp C Corp all right maybe you just a sole proprietorship who knows so my thing is when we speak about business plan being done quote unquote done as you wrote we really need to have a clearer understanding of what you mean by done Okay, here is our solution idea, number one, because your whole thing is you want to have, you want to find profitable loads. You want to find loads ASAP to make that bright. Okay, I get it. Solution idea, number one. Joshua, I'm speaking to you right now, mano a mano. I really want you to listen. I want, I want you to write things down. You need to sign with a cargo van expediting company. Yes, yeah, son. It is what it is because the whole thing here is that you are in LA is a very competitive market. Okay. But the cool, the good thing is you have a lot of cargo van expediting companies. So the whole thing is instead of you going alone, going solo, I want you to really, uh, you know, I, I, I want you to really, uh, use the expertise and network of an, of an established cargo van expediting company. Now, if you don't have uh, any idea of what I'm talking about, you can just send us an email or write to your question in the comment section, and we'll send you a list of uh, cargo van expediting companies that are operating in, in LA. So cargo van expediting companies, they focus on moving small loads quickly, usually providing their shippers overnight or same day delivery, okay? And with many offering 24 hour service for quick pickup and drop off. So you may also find these companies listing their services as emergency freight or on an expedited load board. So most expedited cargo van loads are local or regional deliveries. So cuz, I'm talking to you, son, hey, hey, hey. Take every single job, regardless of the pay. You need to make a name for yourself, boss. Be as hungry, sharp, and determined as a starving lion that hasn't eaten for three days. That's what I want you to have. That's how focused I want you to be. Take every job and get people to know you. That's the first thing. You need to have a foot in the door to understand how the party is going and how to really enjoy the party. So you need to know people to you need to let people know how punctual and customer friendly you are. I know you are a hard working man, but I want the whole world and the whole world to know that. Start making some bread now, cause because you know what? That insurance company, they don't care whether you made money or not every month. They want to get paid. And you need to find that money somewhere. Okay, some expediters pay a percentage of, lo of load revenue while others pay per mile. So, where I, you know, whereas many full, full of freight cargo van companies make an average of a 40 cents per mile, cargo van loads can pay as much as one or two dollars more or more per mile. Okay, however, those loads usually involve significant deadhead and may require you to be on call at odd hours. So, make sure to plan your routes and loads ac accordingly. So drivers familiar with cargo van jobs know which offers to pass on. So don't tell your, don't sell yourself short. But the thing here is that as you are new and you want to make a name for yourself, I'm asking you again, take every single job regardless of the pay. Solution idea number two, Joshua. Really speaking to you right now, you have a cargo van expedited business that has been, that has been six months old, okay? And you are trying to find profitable loads. You want to do some courier work as a cargo van job. What I'm trying to say here is that you, again, you want to expand the opportunities you have. A lot of drivers trying to pivot and focus on local cargo van delivery as a courier. And again, as I said, in LA, the market is competitive, but there is a lot of work. There's a lot of work. Okay, so what I want you to do, is I want you to become a messenger boy okay the thing is even in cities like la chicago and new york shippers are often choosing vehicles over bike deliveries so courier jobs can be a bit more of an errand boy gig compared to those you would find with an expediting company but again it's okay so in addition to working with the suppliers manufacturers and wholesalers you may be working with lawyers this is kind of cool real estate agents notaries and other businesses that need paperwork delivered immediately in LA or in the in the in the area okay so the whole thing here is that you want to basically enlarge you want to cast a wider net son that's what I want you to do small retail businesses are another common customer particularly when they need help bringing products from a wholesaler's warehouse or a big box store like Costco. So what I'm trying to say, son, is I want, I want you to, again, I said this before, I want you to cast a wider operational net. 
okay now the thing is don't get me wrong some drivers find the headache simply not worth it particularly in heavily trafficked cities you know la being one of them but again as i said before trying to really uh, trying to take every job possible it is what it is okay and the pay can be usually quite variable too but right now you got to get out there get your ass out there and take jobs that really pay even the even if they pay a little at the beginning you need to make a name for yourself okay so do some courier work as a cargo van job okay you have a lot of companies out there i just we have a lot of companies we can uh, we can uh, refer to you again if you are interested please send it send this in the comments i know you are listening or just send us an email okay we'll we'll send you all the info all the all, all the, the the companies that offer that kind of stuff and and i'll speak about other other stuff a little more but the whole thing here is that you can even have a strategy where people are coming to you you're not going to them they're coming to you and that's the whole thing you want to make sure that you you position yourself in a way that you just get bread all the time without doing anything you get offers in and out and that's what you want i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. In today's conversation, we have a situation. So we have Joshua L., a 42 male cargo van driver, and he has a cargo van expediting business that's six months old. So we're talking about a startup, and he cannot find any profitable loads. He wants to haul in the LA area. Okay, he's open to all loads. He has no dispatchers right now. He said insurance is killing me. He has no load board registration. I understand you. I I, I really get you. So solution idea number three, you want to search local businesses on Google business. Oh yeah. I know you're probably thinking that's too easy. Hey, listen, you have a lot of money there. I mean, you have LA. I mean, I know you probably live in an area within LA because you know, LA is a metropolis. So what you want to do is where you live, you want to search for small business, local businesses in that area very important because the thing here is that what you want to do here is you want to zero in on the neighborhood okay people that you know that you see every day you have i'm sure where you where you live you have a lot of businesses and what we want to start doing here is that you want to zero in on the businesses that are around you I, you know i'm asking you literally to walk around the block and uh, really note all the businesses around the block very important okay you want to develop a local delivery service business plan what i'm trying to say here is you want to think you want to zero in on okay think about budget think about geographic reach think about order placement and fulfillment think about transportation see those let me just break it down for you son you can actually uh, go around your neighborhood and just pick 10 businesses start with 10 start little and you want to study them you want to study uh, their ins and outs you can even present you can even introduce yourself to them and say listen hey I, I, I do a superb job and I want you all to give me a chance. It's all about asking. Create a delivery specific marketing strategy. You want to cast a wider net with social media. Who knows? I, you know, I want your ass to be on Facebook. I want your ass to be on Instagram. I mean, you're probably thinking, well, you know, I, you know, I'm not doing social media. Hey, 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 hey. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. You are in a situation where you need loads. You need profitable loads. You need to get your name out there, okay? And the, the thing is, you can attract local. Uh, you can attract the local neighbors with again by having flyers around. You know who knows? You can post flyers at, at uh, various strategic places, okay? You can ask uh, local businesses, local retail stores, mom and shops, and say, "Listen, can I just put this flyer here?" What you want to do is you want to build small business solidarity, okay? Make your service, make your delivery service stand out invest in a flyer go on fiverr.com pay five dollars to actually for someone to 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 craft for you a very nice flyer it's all about standing out son it's all about standing out i want you to stand out solution idea number four you make you need to make yourself known you need to get your cargo van loaded. How do you do this? Let's just have a situation here we can understand. So the ultimate trick to finding success with cargo van expedited business or a sprinter van for that matter is to market yourself. 
I know I've just said this, but now I want to dig a little, a, a little, a little uh, deeper here. Understand me well. Understand me well. I'm not saying that you have to just uh, wake wake up every day, just uh, spend your time just advertising yourself instead of finding loads. What I'm trying to say here is I want you to position yourself as a reliable cargo van expediting driver. But the thing is, nobody knows you. This you know at this moment, nobody knows you, Joshua. So how are you supposed to get loads if nobody knows you? I mean, you, you want to haul in LA. LA is a very competitive market when it comes to cargo van expediting business. Okay. But, but the thing is, you have no dispatchers yet. You have no load board registration. So my point here is that we want to find you unique ways to drive business to you. The thing you have to understand, is don't expect to find cargo van loads for free on traditional load boards. They are far and few between. Instead, treat your van as a, as a sole proprietorship and market yourself as much as possible. Okay, you can list your business in classified classified ads. Have you tried Craigslist? Oh yeah, they are free. You can use a free service like Wix.com. You have a lot of them. If you're interested, we we, we we will send you a list of classified websites in the LA area. That's what you want to do. Also, one thing you always want to carry business cards that explain what you do and how to contact you. Approach, you want to approach small manufacturers in your area and offer on-demand delivery service whenever they need it. That's what I want you to do. Joshua, that's what I want your ass to do. Go to trade shows and find startups who may need an outsourced cargo, uh, cargo van uh, uh, expedited business. Okay, you can also offer services such as moving furniture or hauling junk. See, my, my whole thing is you want to take every job possible. You just need to get a foot in the door, son. You need to get a foot in the door. That's what I want you to do. And you can find these loads through Craigslist. So I was talking to you earlier about Craigslist being an avenue where you can list your services, but it is also an avenue where you can find loads. You know, every, everybody thinks about, hey, you know, you got to really go to load boards. You got to go through dispatchers to find loads. Yeah, it is possible sometimes. But hey, Craigslist is a fantastic avenue to find loads. OK, you can bring yourself, for example, as a junk hauler in your own free classified Craigslist ads. So, you know, some cargo van jobs can be acquired by partnering with the local Goodwill or Salvation Army. Have you thought about that, folks? If you talk about you got to think about that, Joshua. So the whole thing is, I want you to be innovative. Very important. Thank you so much for your attention. So this was today's situation that we had. You know, Joshua L. You are 42. You are a hardworking man. I know you. You're going to make it. You're going to start making some bread in this industry. I know for sure. But please, you want to pick up all the four ideas that we have given you. And trying to make something out of them. And if you have any questions, please, you can always email us back or you can just uh, comment below. We are inviting all our viewers who are very smart. Our viewers are very smart, are the smartest ever. Please, you want to pitch in. You want to contribute your expertise, your feedback, because we believe here on this show in collective wisdom. We believe that the crowd has more wisdom and insight than a few members of our team. Very important. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God bless you. And uh, so um, until next time, stay marvelous.